Hello and good evening viewers. You're watching English news broadcast live from our headquarters in Asmara. It's 10.30 p.m. Saturday, the 16th of October. I'm the reporter Mira Johannes with your daily updates and here's a rundown of the top stories we're covering. Announcement from the Ministry of Health. World Day of Hand Wash Observed. Russia exceeds 1,000 daily COVID deaths for the first time. China launched second crewed mission to build space station. And now we proceed to the details for the local news. We have an announcement from the Ministry of Health. Six patients have been diagnosed positive for COVID-19 and tests is carried out today at quarantine centers and testing stations in the central region. Out of these, four patients are from quarantine centers and two patients are from testing stations in Asmara central region. Accordingly, the total number of confirmed cases in the country to date has increased to 6,773. The total number of recovered patients to date stands at 6,676, while the number of deaths at 44. Ministry of Health, Asmara, 16 October 2021. World Day of Hand Wash was observed at regional level in the port city of Masawa in the Northern Red Sea region on 15 October. At the event organized by the Ministries of Education and Health, Mr. Ismail Saleh, Head of Educational Facilities in the region, said that washing hands has vital contribution in preventing communicable diseases and that the awareness-raising activities conducted in schools to that effect has registered commendable result. Mr. Burhan Alim Saged, head of the Ministry of Health branch in the region, also said that the objective of the day is to boost societal awareness on the importance of hand washing as well as environmental sanitation in the prevention of the prevalence of communicable diseases and called for reinforced participation of the public to that effort. Mr. Haile Asfaha, administrator of Masawa City on his part, said that washing hands is the easiest means of preventing prevalence of communicable diseases and expressed appreciation to those that organized the event. The event was highlighted with general knowledge contest between students from four schools. A two-day workshop on the prevention and treatment of diseases that are transmitted from animals to humans has been conducted in Tessany Town. At the workshop in which professionals and members of the Ministry of Health from the 11 subzones of Kashbarka region participated, extensive briefing was presented on the varieties and characteristics of the diseases as well as on the precautions the society should demonstrate. Speaking at the event, the head of regional regulatory service at the Ministry of Agriculture branch in Gash Barka region, Mr. Hagos Kebramaram said that the objective of the workshop is to prevent the, pre the prevalence of diseases that can be transmitted from animals to humans, such as TB, rabies, and other diseases that are getting seriously by the day. Mr. Hagos further called on the participants to increase contribution in the effort being exerted to control the diseases. Participants on their part called for a regular information release on the state of communicable diseases, development of laboratories, as well as ensuring supply of animal drugs, among others. Speaking at the conclusion of the workshop, the governor of Kashbarka region, Mr. Sium Gebreyesus, underlined the significance of the workshop and stated that the greatest task is practically a Applying the knowledge gained. He also expressed conviction that the participants will effectively implement the undertakings awaiting them on the ground. We'll be back with the international news after this short break. Stay with us. Welcome back. 
Russia has reported more than a thousand daily COVID-related deaths for the first time since the start of the pandemic. An official government tally today reported 1,002 deaths and 33 and 208 new infections, setting a pandemic high for both fatalities and cases for the third day in a row. The surging outbreak has come with just 31% of Russians fully inoculated as of today. A lack of tough restrictions has allowed the coronavirus to spread, though a number of regions have reintroduced QR codes for access to public places. The Kremlin has avoided reintroducing major restrictions despite calling the country's vaccination rate unacceptably low, saying authorities have to ensure the economy continues working. While several local vaccines have been available for months, authorities have struggled to inoculate a vaccine skeptic population. Independent polls show that more than half of Russians do not plan to get a shot. Deaths from COVID in Russia now stand at 222,000 and 315, the highest toll in Europe. China launched a rocket today carrying three astronauts, including one woman, to the core module of a future space station where they will live and work for six months, the longest ever duration in orbit for Chinese astronauts. A long March 2F rocket carrying the Shenzhou 13 spacecraft, which means divine vessel in Chinese, blasted off from Shiquan Satellite Launch Center in the northwestern province of Gansu at 12.23 a.m. Beijing time. Shenzhou 13 is the second of four crewed missions needed to complete the space station by the end of 2022. In this mission, Astronauts will carry out tests of the key technologies and robotics needed to assemble the space station, verify onboard life support systems, and conduct a host of scientific experiments. After the return of Shenzhou 13 crew to Earth in April next year, China will deploy six more missions, including deliveries of the second and third space station modules and two final crewed missions. China barred by the U.S. law from working with NASA and by extension on the International Space Station I. SS has spent the past decade developing technologies to build its own station. With the ISS set to retire in a few years, China's space station will become the only one in Earth's orbit. China became the third country to put a man in space with its own rocket in October 2003 after the former Soviet Union and the United States. Following is a review of our top stories. Announcement from the Ministry of Health. World Day of Hand Wash Observed. Russia exceeds 1,000 daily COVID deaths for the first time. China launched second crewed mission to build space station. That was all for tonight. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.